hello and welcome back in this video we will gonna show you how to make the tie beam for the second floor as you can see they're all busy making the scaffolding for the tie beam a nice overview of all the columns who are erected now and the last box is going off this is how the horizontal bar is coming out and they don't damage the box. The gap in the column will be filled up later when we do the hollow blocks for the wall. The boxing is completely not damaged so we can use them again for the columns on the second floor. Making the scaffolding goes very smoothly now. That's what I love about the Filipinos. They reuse everything. They don't throw anything. They made sapatos, shoes, for the scaffolding. And that's a horizontal bar on the bottom of the scaffolding. So the vertical bar cannot sink in due to the weight they have from above. Scaffolding making goes very nice and it's good in progress now. And what do you think of this belt for the carpenter work? made out of a PVC pipe, a holder for your hammer and made out of a plastic bottle, a holder for your nails very very resourceful first I line out two lines and then after that they put some coca lumber under it and on top of that will be the bottom of the tie beam Making the four mast. The bottom of the tie beam. Almost all the bottoms of the tie beams are placed now. Still waiting for a couple. Making the braces to support the load of the tie beam. Distributing the syrup. Mm -hmm. 
then making a start with the first tie beam. For the garage, we use an extra beam to lower the entrance. We don't want to have a 3 meter entrance, we lower it to 2 meter 20. The boxing in is complete, now we go for the pouring. What I like also about the Filipinos is that they make their own tools. No fancy tools from the store, no they make it out of a leftover rebar of 1010 just for tying the bars together. Very good, very nice. Here you can see the splice very well with the 90 centimeters overlap. Now the tie beam is ready. They're gonna start with scaffolding for the flooring. They're now making a start of the boxing in of the tie beam. And make the flooring. Making the first layer of rebar for the flooring. The two-way slab is finished, as you can see here. And the advantage of a two-way slab over a one-way slab is that the two-way slab distributes all the loads on the four sides and is supported by all the columns. I don't like that the rebars are resting on the plywood, so what I asked them to do is put some aggregate under every bar so we have some separation between the bars and the plywood. Making the braces for the tie beam. So now he's helping the workers to offload the cement. <laughs> It is four o'clock in the morning. We start pouring. Hopefully the whole day stays dry.
It is 12 o'clock now and they're making nice progress. And this morning after 5 o'clock we had a little bit uh, ambon lang, a little bit of drizzle. But now it's dry and sunny, so hope it will stay the whole day like this. We will see. It looks good. <laughs> It's now 4.30, an hour away from darkness, so we're ha almost halfway. It's now 8 o'clock in the evening. Good morning. We have found now a quicker way to transport the concrete in a wheelbarrow because it's already early morning. It's now almost 8 o'clock and this worked perfectly. Finally, after many long hours, the guys are very, very tired and understandable because they did a good job and they did a lot of overtime and we appreciate that very, very much. We will always remember them. Thank you so much, guys. You did a good job. This is the last corner and then we're ready. A slap and the tie beam is poured. Good job, guys. As you can see, the pouring is completely done. We could not do this without the help of our fantastic crew. I told it already in person to you, but I will tell it again. Maraming, maraming salamat for your time, effort and sacrifices. I'm very, very proud and thankful that everybody of you stayed until the end and finished the job as one big team. Thank you again. I know that everybody of you was very, very tired, but still you finished it. Thank you, thank you so much. Now we go into a two week curing period. And I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Bye bye.